Hi, this is Aprajita from Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we will see how to find installation related information on Avaya or a experience portal server. Many a time we need to find out the information about what all softwares have been installed on the server. And for doing same, you can check the following data related to installation history on Avaya or Experience Portal Server. We can find out the current version of the software installed by using iaversion.php command. You can find out all the versions since AEP 6.0 that have been installed on the server by using iahistory.php command. If you want to find out what all versions have been installed in a particular directory, get install history is the utility to be used. And when we want to know what all versions have been installed in all the directories residing on the server, we can use the same command get install history hyphen search underscore all. And please note that get install history command will be disabled from AEP 6.0 onwards. So you should use iaversion.php and iahistory.php commands for your purpose. Let us now go to the command line access of experience portal server to run these commands and see the output. I'm logged in here as a non-root user. So first I'll have to log in with the root privileges. After doing that, change directory to $avaya underscore home which is nothing but an environmental variable which points to the parent directory of experience portal software installation. If I echo dollar via home, it shows me the complete path. Now change directory to support slash VP tools list here. We will be using get install history utility here to find the information about the installation history on this system. So let's try to run this command now with dot slash get install history. As soon as we hit enter, first of all, it shows the notice that this utility will be replaced by iaversion.php and iahistory.php and then it shows the output. Let's try to run the same command with argument hyphen search underscore all. As soon as I hit enter, it digs into all the directories available on this server and find out what all softwares have been installed under all these directories and give us the output. Although in this case, we have got the similar output because there have not been multiple software installations on this system. Now let's try to run iaversion.php. This output shows all the current versions installed on the system. It shows MPP, BPMS and documentation versions and says that rollback is unsupported for all of them. Let's now run iahistory.php. If you look at the output here, it shows the complete history of what all softwares have been installed with their respective versions and the install type was full or partial. All this kind of information can be captured by running the script on the command line. What we want to do further here is look at the logs directory where all installation related logs are captured for experience portal manager as well as for MPP. So if we look at the present directory, we are under experience portal home slash support slash VP tools. So change directory back to experience portal. Change directory to logs here, list. We see here a directory named install followed by the installation date dot zero zero zero. So let's go to this directory by CD, the directory name. When I list here with ls command, I can see lots of installation logs available under this directory. These installation logs are related to the MPP software. Whereas the VPMS software installation logs are these ones. There are logs related to the prerequisite checker as well. 
All of these are flat files which you can open with any of the file editors. Now let's see what happens in a multi-box setup when you want to see the logs of MPP on different servers. So go to dollar avaya home directory again, change directory to MPP, change directory to logs slash install. When we list here, we can see MPP specific log files residing under this directory. Let's try to open up one of these files using VI editor. When we look at the logs inside this, we see starting installation for Avaya MPP followed by the release. And when we go below, it says install complete. Lots of information apart from this is covered in this file, which you can refer to to dig out more information. So this completes our demonstration about finding the information about the installation on Experience Portal Manager as well as on NPP. I hope this information was helpful. Thank you for your time today. For any questions, comments or feedback, please write to mentor at avaya.com or follow us on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing avaya.